Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am upgrading my friend's Asus Q405UA laptop. I'll be installing a Team Group MP30 SSD. I'll also show you how to upgrade the RAM. First, I'll flip the laptop over and unscrew the 11 screws. After unscrewing the screws, flip the laptop over again and open the lid. Next, using a prying tool, slowly pry the edges. Then, slowly lift up the keyboard like you're opening the trunk of a car. Be careful not to fully open it. The keyboard, backlight, touchpad, and the fingerprint sensor are still plugged in. Here's a photo of the cables that are still connected. Since the camera can't focus properly, so I'll just unplug them. So here are the cables to unplug. Next, I'll unplug the battery and I put a guitar pick to prevent the battery from reconnecting. Next, we remove the tape covering the network card screw and its antenna cables. Then, I'll unscrew the network card and slowly unplug it. I'll move the network card away from the laptop while being careful with the antenna wires. Next, I'll unscrew the battery and the hard drive tray from the laptop. Next, I'll push the hard drive tray away from the battery, then I remove the hard drive tray. Next, we can now remove the battery. I'll remove the guitar pick since the battery is not there anymore. Next, I'll unscrew the four screws holding the main board. Then, I'll unplug a flex cable located on the left side of the laptop. Then, I'll unplug the speaker cable located on the right side of the laptop. Side note, when handling computer parts, I always hold them on the sides and avoid holding the face of the PCB. Next, I am slowly lifting the main board up. So there's the RAM slot and the M.2 SSD slot. Now I'll install the Team MP30 SSD into the M.2 slot. When inserting the M.2 SSD, do it in a 45 degree angle and make sure the gold pins are completely inserted into the socket. Next, I'll screw the SSD into the main board. The screw is not included with the laptop and SSD, so I bought one. Next is the RAM. Pry the two clips on the side away from the RAM stick 
and now the RAM module goes up and you can pull the RAM stick out. This is the built-in 8GB of RAM that is soldered on the main board. It is not removable. Next is reinstalling the RAM stick again. So, first, insert the RAM stick at a 45 degree angle and make sure the gold pins are inside the slot. Then, we push the RAM stick down until it clips on the slot. The RAM I installed is a 16GB DDR4 SODIMM module. The SSD is an M.2 SATA SSD. NVMe SSD is not compatible. I would like to thank my friend for letting me upgrade his top top and film it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my future videos.